Hello everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating how I can download any code editor. And for this video purpose, I will be using Notepad++. To download the code editor, I will be navigating to the web browser. Here in this video, I have navigated to www.google.com and on www.google.com I am writing notepad++ download. When I press enter, it gives me the website notepad++.org. I can navigate to this website directly as well or I can go to this website with the help of a web browser. When I click on this, the notepad hyphen plus hyphen plus dot org slash downloads website will get opened. I will be going with the latest version of uh, notepad plus plus. So I click on notepad plus plus version 8.2.1 and uh, if I scroll below, I am able to see the installer of this particular application. So on clicking on the installer, my download will start and I will be getting the exe, the installation file of Notepad++. You will be getting uh, uh, the exe and when you click on open with the other application, so this is the option that you will be getting out wine windows program loader and when you select it out you select this particular uh, program and then you will be having the simple installation that you used to do as you are having your installation running up on windows environment see the installation has begin click on this language is english okay by default it is selected click on okay and welcome to the notepad plus plus setup the exe has been started click on next i agree the same way you used to do on windows environment so it is selecting the c drive program file notepad plus plus but this c drive is not the uh, linux uh, ubuntu c drive this is the c drive which is available in the wine folder this drive and this is the C drive, uh, which is uh, this C drive recommends too. So program files and in note in this program files, it is uh, in taking the notepad plus plus, right? So clicking on next, so it is asking the same options as it asked on the window environment. Click on next, click on install, and you are able to see the installation get started. Right, and then later, because it's a very lightweight uh, code editor, so I am recommending this because you all are using virtual machine. So that is uh, the thing. And if you want to go with uh, another code editor, definitely you can go with the same. So it is prompting me that the uh, installation part has been completed. Click finish to close setup. So it is selected the run notepad plus plus. So I'm clicking on finish. So this is uh, the uh, Notepad++ interface. So when you click it out, this is the instruction that it appears initially. So you can explore Notepad++ for a new file. What you can do is you can simply close this out. This is the new file. And if you want to create a new file, simply go to file and click on new. The new file is being appeared in front of you, right? If you want to open any file, go to file, open and select the file where it is, right? It is onto the desktop. Okay, fine. But this desktop is your Linux machine. This desktop is your uh, C drive desktop, right? This slash is there. This slash is the uh, your Linux uh, thing, and you will be keeping all your files inside this slash where where folder 
and inside this www inside this html and you will be keeping all your files over here because whenever you will be keeping all your files over here uh, it is slash and then where and then www and then html right so this is the path you must be remembering it out for uh, uh, this semester so whatever you files you will be placing over here the files will be accessible on to the web browser. You can open any file. Remember, we created the test.php during the installation of Apache Web Server or the PHP first uh, PHP installation. So if I click on test.php and click on OK, see, that's what the code I wrote inside this test.php, right? And if I want to test it out, I click on the web browser. And try running uh, this particular uh, file. So for running this particular file. I will be considering localhost slash test dot PHP. And I am able to see my name. From the next lecture onwards, what we will be doing is say I am changing it to the uh, my name underscore some roll number. Let me put it into a string. Yes. I am just clicking on this save button. This is save button and this is save all. I am pressing this save, but it is not allowing me to save. Because this is the file which is being opened in um, another interface. So let's close this file and again try the same. So I click on save again. It is saying that it is not opened into another program. It is this file is opened in another program to resolve this error. What best I can do or I can show you the same thing as well. If I have this file. And I want to put this file into this folder. Uh, where I am going is I am navigating to the folder other locations, computer, VAR, then www, and then HTML. If I try out putting a file into this folder, say uh, let's rename this file to new dot new two dot PHP. And I simply copy it out and I am trying to paste it out. You will not be able to do the copy pasting in this folder. But if you want to enable that out, navigate to terminal. If you want to enable the direct copy pasting into this folder, navigate to terminal and open Natulis, type the Natulis command and uh, in the administrator mode and give the permissions to that particular folder. Right, when you type, this window will appear in front of you. This is the administrator uh, panel. Then navigate to that particular location. This is all in administrator part. So I'm navigating to HTML. And uh, in HTML, I am right clicking, navigating to properties, and I am giving the permissions to the root user over here. Assess files, create and delete files, fine. This is the main, um, uh, it is, uh, uh, you must be having the list files only. So you change it to the create and delete files and click on close. Then you will be having the uh, permissions to direct copy pasting into this particular folder. Click on uh, the copy or click on cut and uh, simply you can take the files into this particular folder. So that is uh, the thing which you can run. You can uh, change the permissions in any of the folder using the command sudo. N-A-U-T-I-L-U-S, sudo natolis. 